API interface is now officially supported on P-Service PBX Appliance Edition, Software Edition, and Cloud Edition, which makes third-party integration possible across all platforms. In this video, we'll give you an overview of the API on P-Service PBX, especially on how to enable API on P-Service PBX, and what features are open for query. Okay, here we go. To enable API, we go to the Integrations page and click on API. First of all, turn on the API, then if needed, we can click on IP restriction to add permitted IP and subnet mask to block all other IP from using the API function. Then we can move on to advanced settings. We can choose to enable extensions and chunk status monitor individually. We said this depends on whether our integration requires us to sync and monitor the status of certain extensions or chunks. When we are down, click on save. We can obtain the client ID and secret from the PBX and use the credential to request for API access token. All right, that was how we enable API. Then we're going to talk about what features are open for a query with PSERS PBX API. First of all, call making related features are open for a query, including inbound call, outbound call, and call control which means we can actually have third-party application to make and receive phone calls with P-Service PBX system, as well as realize call controls like a transfer, pickup, parking, and etc. In the meanwhile, checking and making changes on call routing rules is also available for third-party applications. And in many cases, when we integrate PBX to other platforms like CRM or Microsoft Teams, we need to associate and match the extensions to third-party user. And in other cases, we need to create and manage users directly on the third-party platforms. So extensions are available for creating, deleting, editing, and querying information in bulk or individually. Also, chunks are open in the same way, so that if the users need to manage PBX on their own platform, chunks can be accessible and customizable. Contacts and phone books are also open for information querying, editing, creating, or deleting, so we can check and synchronize with other contact data repository, like a CRM. For the third-party applications that require data from PBX to generate reports, journals, and the likes, PSERS PBX provides access for querying, CDR, recording, and events. Therefore, necessary data can be synced with the integration to make the reports. Here we have a summary of all endpoints and corresponding events. For more details, please go to help.yaystore.com and search API, or directly find the link in our description to get the manual for our API interface. All right, guys, that was all we have for this one. Hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.